Hi, this is Dave Phillippe with FabCAD, and here we have a modern style railing using designs from architectural iron designs. And we designed a lamb's tongue here on the end to sort of go with this particular style railing. And I'd like to save this and use this on future jobs. So what I want to do is go in here and copy this and create a world block, it's called, it's basically just a drawing that we can put to, with the library and use it down the road. So let's copy this out and then I want to trim off the area where the tongue is. So I'm going to go to trim and trim that. Erase this and that. Okay. All right. So now, next thing we want to do is turn this into a drawing. To do that, we're going to go into the assert insertion field, and we have what's called right block command. So it creates a new drawing. All right. So we're going to create a new drawing. Now we want to put it into the custom folder of the library files here. Okay. And we're going to call this modern tongue and save that now we got two boxes to deal with here one is the select objects box I'm going to select that we want to pick the item that we want to create and right click and then the next important thing is to pick a point we want the insertion point we want this to be right here where it'll connect to the railing in the right place and then I'm just going to click OK and we have generated a new drawing into the custom folder. So let's take a look. So we'll go to the library and we go to the custom folder and here is modern tongue right there. All right. So we can right click and insert its block and get in this way. Or we can put it into the tool palette. So why don't we do that because it's easier to drag and drop that way. So I'll go to the tool palettes and we have created a palette called custom. So what I want to do is go over here to this drawing here and I, what I'm going to do is left click on this and keep my left mouse button down and drag it over and drop it in to the tool palette right there. So when I click on this it just drag and drop. So let's go down here to another railing that has a modern design and I'll just click on the tongue and come over here and boom there it is and I've got my new piece. I can do it on this one too. So move it to the right place. But you want to make sure that the insertion point is at a place where when you put it in it's going to be exactly where you want it to go. So you don't have to just insert it and then have to move it again. But that's how you can create custom parts very easily. Take care. Bye.